nerve breakdown when you got a full toilet and running out of water, which is what we nearly did. We booked in tomorrow at the Renault garage, spending the night on the Renault garage forecourt. So that's going to be exciting. We've driven to a nearby car wash that's got a toilet drop off and water for two euro ten minutes for water. You needed to get little jeton counters from the from the machine over there, but at least we'll be ready to go. And despite having the funnel, I managed to completely soak myself. I'm going to show you what we do to service the van. Follow me. Get rid of our grey water into the specially made grate. So now I like to get all of the things ready so that when the muck starts happening, I'm not going to spread it around the camper van. Helen thinks I've got too much blue liquid, but I think you can never have enough. I've got an old water bottle which we use just for rinsing poos. Disinfectant and this for wiping the stains off the seal. All right, before you take the cassette out, you need to make sure that the drippy pink fluid uh, isn't sitting in the top of that seal. Otherwise, that's gonna go everywhere when you pull it out, and that's not great. Pink fluid there, it's gotta go. Down we go. Mmm. Don't look too closely. This is all female poo down there. Us boys don't do that. <laughs> when dealing with girly poo, you've always got to have gloves. Get these from the garage when you're doing your diesel, and they're free. Okay, I also like to put something down just in case there is a bit of spillage that doesn't go on the carpet and something we can wash. Onto the cassette. Um, Pull out this little bit, this is where you fill the toilet flush system. I'll show you that in a bit. And push down this bit and start pulling it. Okay, luckily now, this is empty of liquid. Right, empty this, take off the end. I'm gonna pick this up and press the plug at the same time. When I was in school, they, uh, they taught me something about the color wheel. And um, if you put the blue toilet liquid in, and then you mix it with brown poo, it tends to turn everything green. Look away now if you don't want to see this. Got to get the end all the way down and in to stop splashing and press the button at the same time. Yeah, just it's easy, just um, put water in it. Give it a shake around until you get all the bits from inside. You want the water to run clear. Okay, close this bit, flush the cassette so it's nice for next people. Making sure that you don't lose your lid anywhere. Put it back on nice and tight. Okay, I then put 30 mils of this blue stuff in the bottom, which is like a glug and a half. Add a litre of water. I'll add one more of those in a second. And then I'm going to spray this down with disinfectant and clean the seal. Nobody wants a dirty seal. Okay, look underneath this blue tack. Uh, there's a seal there. When you're, when you're driving around, things expand um, inside the tank and there's obviously a good seal. But we had a problem with the seal in there which was uh, dripping out when it gets full. So I've used a little Kiwi Ingenuity and used blue tack to stop that dripping out. I'm pleased about that. Pop it back in. Make sure it's clipped, it's not going to run anywhere. And then normally I check the level of the flush liquid. The level of the flush liquid is good. So the same as the blue stuff we have, we have pink stuff which we pop into there and we also fill that full of water and that's then our flushing liquid that's pink. Good to go for another three or four days. Now we've cleaned the inside of the cassette, may as well clean around the outside as well. So I normally clean around this with a disinfectant as well. A bit of hand wash, get any goobies off. Don't want to spread that around. And to poo in a clean toilet is one of van life's small luxuries. <laughs>